Hi everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. Man, oh man, it's been a long time since I've added a, a YouTube clip. I've been super, super busy over at my website creating content for the members, and I've got a student named Silver, and he's like, Matt, what's going on? How come you're not adding any videos to YouTube anymore? So he gave me a challenge. I was supposed to add this video yesterday, and I missed the deadline. Uh, but here I am a day later and uh, he won the bet. So what is this drawing tip all about? Well, I just want to kind of show you my, my work in space. I basically have my drawing taped onto my Cintiq screen. Uh, I work digitally all the time, but it's just a really easy setup because it's kind of all in my little workstation area. It's just easier to do that. So what are we doing here? I'm showing you part of a tutorial. Obviously, I can't show you the whole thing. I can't show you how to draw chrome in five minutes uh, because there's a lot of shading that goes on. But we're drawing this hubcap, okay? And I want to share with you guys a couple things that you could use that will help you make something look shiny within your drawings. So I'm doing a tutorial, how to draw chrome. How do you make things look shiny? Let, let's cut right to the chase. Well, the first thing that you need when you're drawing something and you want it to look shiny is you must have contrast, okay? So contrast is one of the most important parts of creating a shiny look. So contrast meaning you put an extreme dark next to an extreme light. And that is just one part of the equation. There's many, many different uh, ways to create a shiny look. Uh, but light next to dark is one of them. Now, when you're drawing the figure, you're not necessarily going to have white next to dark because the, the figure is not shiny. Skin is not like shiny like chrome. So you want to have more of the middle tones when you're doing a rendering of the figure. But this is completely different. This is trying to show shininess so okay dark next to light extreme contrast we have middle tones right no doubt the oak floor is a middle tone the ceiling is a light middle tone uh but the the, the key is that contrast okay matt we got it what else you got for us so another way to create shininess within an object is to when you have the contrast the white next to the dark, you add a hard edge in there as well. Now, hard edges are super important. Um, I mean, just being able to manipulate edges is super important. But in terms of showing something uh, shiny, the high contrast combined with the hard edge is just, it's a no-brainer. That you do not want to have high contrast and hard edges if you're just drawing uh, a figure in a normal light. If the figure is wet, if the figure uh, is in water or something like that, that, that's a different story. But in normal circumstances, so we are drawing something that is synthetic. It's man-made, this hubcap. And uh, we're going to have quite a few hard edges and we're going to have a few soft edges. I mean, really what I should say to you guys is edge manipulation okay you've got to know where to have the hard edges and where to have the soft edges but make no mistake about it two of the biggest factors uh, when trying to make something look shiny number one is is value contrast an extreme dark next to an extreme light and number two edges come into play edges are huge now there's many other things that you could do to make something look shiny but that's pretty much all I got for you right now uh, in this short little clip. Now, what exactly am I doing a drawing of? Basically, what I did was I just, you know, members have been asking me, Matt, could you get off the figure thing for a little while and draw something shiny? And I put it off, I put it off, I put it off. Finally, I got this hubcap. I put it on the floor in my office, and that's a reflection of part of my office and uh, you, you can see my Cintiq screen uh, kind of bolted onto that easel. Uh, and that was a Cintiq screen that you guys were watching me draw on uh, in the first part of this video. So that's what I'm doing. It's, it's a reflection of my office and it's in this hubcap that I photographed that was on my floor. Uh, we are in the middle of, uh, well, this is the end of part number two. 
This is going to be a four-part series. Uh, this video is sped up, I think, by like 50%, uh, maybe. I'm not quite sure. But it's it's really fast uh, because I think we... Uh, I don't think I know. We've shot five hours of video so far, and uh, nobody has time to sit through five hours of video, so we speed it up, okay? Not a lot, not like this. It's actually a little slower on the website. But, um, okay, Matt, you didn't show me enough on this YouTube clip. You've been gone since July. I want to see something with the figure. I want to see you start with a white blank sheet of paper. Well, I encourage you to come over to my website. I'll show you exactly where you can sign up for free to get into this tutorial. Check this out. All right, so if you visit my website, drawingtutorialsonline.com, right on the home page, you see this little form, Get Notified Via Email. If you want, give us your first name and email address, and you will be put on our email notification list where every week we're going to send you out uh, some kind of form of content. But what we're going to start with is we're going to start with this really cool series uh, that's been out now for about three months over at drawingtutorialsonline.com. It's how to draw the figure from your memory. Now, this is for free. I'm sharing this with you. Uh, this is a very, very small part of what we have to offer over here at, at DTO. So you sign up, and the second you sign up, you get sent right to our first lesson. And this lesson is how to draw the figure from your memory, step number one. And you can go there. You can read up on what we advise you to do. You can watch the video. You can check out some of our drawings. And you can comment on what we did down below. And so after you watch this video, in a day or two, you'll probably get sent uh, step number two. Uh, and I just, like I said, I want to share this with you. This is where I show you where I start from nothing, a blank white sheet of paper, uh, to a drawing. Okay, so thanks so much for watching you guys and no worries. I will have some sketchbook videos coming up soon I've just been waiting for my students to film but now we're gonna be filming some so uh, hang tight be cool